Let's bring in former FBI Special Agent Stuart Kaplan. Uh, Stuart, thank you so much for your time. We didn't really hear a lot of new information today. We just have this photo now of one of these stockpiles. But yesterday, we heard about this drone uh, and a drone that was spotted in the area right around the same time that Burham escaped. How do you think that plays into everything? Well, I think that um, it's more of, and, and it may be because I'm, I'm familiar with these type of investigations, it, it's what you don't hear and what we didn't see uh, today, I think is very telling. So there is no doubt that this individual uh, needed assistance in being able to accomplish, uh, being able to you know, escape from this facility. There's no doubt that there was planning and preparation uh, and I'm assuming that going back and them not only reviewing uh, CCTV or video surveillance and also going back uh, to uh, review any of his outgoing calls uh, that are recorded, um, they are able to be able to pinpoint that there are other assets that he had in place to assist him. But I want to touch upon something that it may not have been uh, noticeable to your viewing audience, but when uh, this individual holding the press conference uh, seemed to uh, be pretty adamant that Michael Burham was still in this location, and then there was a follow-up question, you could see that he hesitated and was very uncomfortable. And, and what was missing at that press conference was the United States Marshals fugitive task force agents or agent in charge, they are the best of the ba best with respect to locating and apprehending these type of individuals. The assets and tools, the investigative tools that the Marshal Service has at their disposal uh, is uh, quite frankly, uh, at the top secret uh, level, those assets are used in connection with these type of investigations. And there is no doubt that they have developed enough information, reliable information, uh, that is just going to be a matter of time until they close in uh, on this individual and bring them back into custody. Well, Stuart, that, that's exactly what I was thinking, too, because, you know, in any, any industry, obviously, there is the things that the general public, whatever the industry is, there are things that the general public sees, and then there are the things that really go on behind the scenes. It doesn't matter what it is. So obviously now, when we're talking about the hunt for a dangerous fugitive, you know, it can seem calm on the water, but just like a duck, we know underneath, you know, those legs are going like crazy. What are some of the things that they are not telling us? Well, first of all, um, when this individual escaped, uh, they were able to go back and be able to create a timeline where they could basically anticipate uh, how far ahead he could have gotten with respect to just being mobile uh, and then create a grid system. But with respect to the tools and the assets that they have in most of them, and I'll just uh, let your viewing audience know that uh, I think we're all familiar with drone technology. But that drone technology uh, is taken to such a higher level now with a lot of technology that uh, with respect to its ability uh, to recognize uh, through uh, body temperatures, uh, thermal imaging, facial recognition, uh, being able to really be utilized in these type of investigations, this gives such an advantage to law enforcement. Uh, some people uh, may be concerned, you know, why is it taking so long? Uh, clearly, uh, they've indicated that they believe this individual is armed. That means to me that obviously uh, there's been a burglary or a series of burglaries that they were able to verify where, in fact, if a house was burglarized and that house had weapons, obviously they've made a determination that he now has been able to arm himself or, in the alternative, whoever assisted him uh, in the planning and preparation uh, hid a weapon so that he could access and get and retrieve that weapon. Right. That then puts law enforcement in a tactical uh, situation where they just can't rush into the forest and just start running towards where they believe he may be. They have to do it in a very strategic point uh, so they don't put them in harm's way. Again, it's yeah. just a matter of 
a time this individual will be apprehended. And again, you know, as they do believe he is armed and he is suspected of murder as well. So they, they obviously have to take that into account. Uh, Stuart, certainly appreciate your expertise. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.